It's what? It's missing yeah, it's missing a lot of stuff, ain't it? But we're gonna fix it, ain't we? Hey guys, what's up? Long time no see. Welcome back to them barnyard builds. I'm Evan. Uh, today, I uh, had plans to work on the 62 F100. Uh, but my grandpa and his buddies needed the uh, engine hoist, so I let them uh, use it today. Um, if you didn't see my last video that I currently haven't posted, but I'm going to post it before this one. Uh, 1970 Mach 1 Fastback uh, Mustang. Um, it needs everything. Doors, hood, fenders, trunk lid. I've got every patch panel on order. Stuff is back ordered, some of it to May, um, possibly June. So. <clears throat> so we're still working on that, but... Uh, today, I'll show you what we're going to do. Let's hopefully get this uh, passenger battery uh, apron out and get this uh, front radiator support cross member out. Um, we need both of those off. We need this off. They're both beat up. You can see down here, it's hit something at some point. And then these, of course, always rust out because the battery acid grows and everything leaks down. Um, and so. Besides that, I think that this front end is going to be fine. So we're just going to have to try to find the spot well to go through that, and uh, you can see that in a second. Uh, tools you might need for the job. Got a, got a drill, an extra battery. Uh, never know how many spot welds there's going to be. I bought all these spot weld bits. This is a kit on Amazon from China. Um, had a lot of good reviews. Comes with 12 bits, 12 or 13 bits, and uh, an extra guy because, you know, they walk off sometimes. A punch is the best way to fix that. Um, and then I ordered me a new seam buster because I couldn't find mine. So if we need this, hammer, take it through, slide through. I don't know if we'll need it. It was cheap. So. Obviously, you need the parts. So here's that new battery apron. You can tell it's in a lot better condition than the one that's currently in it. Um, I got this for a steal. I got this for $29 on Walmart. Got it. Here's that new radiator support. And you can tell just looking at it like, wow. Boo. Yay. Boo. Yeah, you get it. Came with hood adjusters. So, um, can't remember where I bought this from. Holly, maybe. I think Holly had these in stock. Yeah, we've got just about everything we'll need. Uh, I might have to go get me a, you know, a BFH. Big free hammer at some point if I need it to that sink with that seam buster. But let's get started. Someone has. I should just take me a sawzall and cut right here. Someone has boogered up the backside uh, with welds. Let me show you. You see, they've done it up here at some point, too. Doesn't look like it held and had no penetration really cold but looks like they tried to put that in or fix it or something you can tell i don't know exactly what's happened to it but somebody's having a good old time um here's a better look there's the battery tray behind it you can see someone tried to fiberglass incorrectly so two spot welds then we've got bolt 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 i think there's spot welds in the middle and then you got one two three four five six seven maybe and then you know eight nine ten i don't know what's under the battery tray so and someone has welded in, someone's taken this radiator support off another car or something, or where it's been hit. Oh, that's not good. Might have to give me a new bracket. This one's smashed, I didn't re realize that before. So, I don't know, it's not, it's just a side. I can beat that out. We'll take us a BFH to that. And looks like it's gonna be fun over here, so. I'd say it's definitely been hitting the front end, probably broke that off and everything. And you can see they've done it through here. Instead of just doing spot welds, it's kind of a mess, but it's all right. We'll get it taken care of. 
Oh, something I didn't mention earlier are these little spot well drill bits. Um, they're actually double sided, so you'll be able to flip it over when one side wears down. Something that I use, I got some ATF. This stuff for me works the best when I'm, you know, drilling out spot welds. Uh, and I don't really pour it on there. I just dip the tip into it and then I'll keep, you know, drilling it out. It seems to save the blades like a ton. So um, the other side of this, uh, it's kind of booger welded in the front too. So what I'm gonna end up having to do is probably just go ahead and replace that. I mean, it wouldn't hurt to. I could I could fix that with a hammer and dolly. That's why I wasn't really playing on it. But um, in order to get this off, I might end up having to harm the other panel there. I'm gonna try to avoid it. Um, so let's just figure out how this is gonna go. All right, let's get started. Got all kinds of bees out here. They love watching them barnyard builds. Think they would subscribe if they had little human hands to touch the button with. That's what you should do. Anyways, we got some guineas out here and some bees. The, all the animals. They care, so you should care. All right, so, well, I said, I'll just dip mine in. Get it a little bit wet there. And then a lot of times it's better to try to use a punch here to maybe get to the dead center and hold it. But all right, so I made the adjustments my wife told me I needed to make because I'm beginning to be a smart man. This thing is weak. It's already bending. This is a terrible purchase. I need my good one. You see up here, I was drilled out really easily. And here, and these bolts are holding tightness on it too, but see all these and like because this is tensioned i can't push on with my foot right here so when it's like that that helps uh you can kind of line up the edge of your circle before you start and then i keep it about this high above it and start you know drilling and then i push down and ease into it they cut pretty good uh, the teeth do so yeah and then we'll probably just pull this whole piece off with the radiator support because there's no need in separating it from the radiator support when it's all going to come out anyways so um and here's a better look you can see it's got bolts got spot welds in the middle and then down through there still don't know if i'm going to replace that side yet i have not made up my mind and then down on the bottom is what i'm about to do go through there on this side so, so you can kind of see we got all these drilled out and we came over here, all the way to here. I, like an idiot, left tools at home, so I'll have to go get those. But um, we'll just take that battery tray off, drill out any like remaining spot welds. Um, you know, take out the bolts there. This side will be good to come off on this side. Okay, so they've welded directly to the fender apron, which is like, why not just spot weld it? But anyways. Um, and then you can see it on this side, maybe 
focus. So my next part will be trying to figure out how I can get those welds out without damaging what's left. I'll probably just end up having to remove the whole panel, but what I'd rather do is just make me a tiny strip to go there that I can spot weld to. All right, guys, so we're back. Uh, went and got some tools so I can hopefully get these bolts off. Um, I ordered the other uh, fender apron. I uh, just figured, let's just take it all off at once. Um, I just, one, it's beat up, banged up, which could easily be fixed with a hammer and dolly. But, uh, you know, why not go ahead and just, just replace it? I mean, 50 or 60 bucks get it taken care of and I don't have to worry about trying to be super careful with it and everything. So I'm just going to drill out all these spot welds, remove the bolts, try to take all this off. Like I said, I will have to grind that and beat out that uh, little rail there. But, uh, so that's what we're going to get started on. All right, guys. So I have decided to go ahead and cut it right through here. It's just going to make it easier on me to drill out these spot welds. If I had a belt sander or something, I would just take it off there and then there, whatever. But just to make it easier on me, because this isn't going to be reused or anything like that, um, what I'm going to do is try to cut it with my sawzall right through here, right through there on the other side. That way, when I take these bolts out and I get all these spot welds drilled out, I'll just pull the whole front end off. And then I'll have good access with my spot uh, weld bit, just because I don't have my air compressor over here right now. Uh, I know you're like, man, do you ever have anything? I'm spread between like three places where I work on my car. So I really need to just build me a, a like a truck with a toolbox on it, like a, um, like a utility bed or something, but, um, just for the meantime. So that's the new plan. We're going to remove these bolts. Um, once we get these spot holes drilled out, remove the bolts over here, the battery box, the solenoid. Um, we're going to get all this stuff off. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and try to cut this. If my saws all dies, I'll just have to use my cutoff wheel and run an extension cord. But that's where we're at right now. And then I have ordered this panel. It's not going to be here, it says, till April 4th. So this will pretty much just be a video eventually of me just taking this off. And then we'll do the install later. But um, So the new one's supposed to be here April 4th. Um, I've already got this. I've already got the radiator support. So today's just removing everything. Hey, you got a stick? Can you find me a stick? Needs to be skinny. Yeah. All right, come here. I'll let you help me. So don't touch it with your finger because it's really hot, but take your stick here. And you see that? Push it through. Whoa, good job. That thing is really hot, so don't touch it, okay? Thank you for helping me. You can go back over there and then I'll let you know when I'm ready for you to help me again. I don't want to. Oh. 
Okay. You have to watch out. Alright, bud, can you come help me? Alright. I'm gonna have to pick you up, okay? Yeah. Cause I gotta have you help me. We gotta get this box out. Alright, can you set those down for a second so you can grab it? Alright, you ready? Oh, you can grab that. Yep, hold it. Be careful. Awesome. Good job. Throw it down. Thank you. Somebody did bad repair work, didn't they? Yep. They just tried the fiberglass. They didn't do that good. Now, you can see why we uh, are replacing this. I mean, goodness gracious, it, there was no saving that one. So uh, I'm gonna get back down here, try to figure out where the remaining spot welds are. And then uh, we'll try to get this side. Over. James, don't do that, buddy. Jameson, what did Daddy just say? I just didn't help you. I know, buddy, but that's not where we do that at. What was you working on? I was working on this side. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I see that. You're doing good. What's up? What does this do? That's for a water hose. Hey, do you want to come hit this a couple of times? Yeah. Come here. All right, you got to be careful not to hit daddy's hands or you're going to get it. Here, you know, let daddy get it started. Hey, watch out. Back up just a little. Okay, bud. You're going to hit it right there. You got to be careful, okay? Hey, you guys want to help me get this off? Yep. Yep. All right. You come over here. Okay. Come over 
there. Hold right there, okay? You ready? I'm gonna pick it up on three. One, two, three. You pick it up. Cool, go that way with it. Walk over there. Awesome. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Whoa, good job, high five. Look at that. We got the whole time in about didn't we? Next we gotta get this off and this, but we'll have to do that next time, okay? Be careful about getting metal tubes or anything. Thank you for helping. Let's go drive your Pontiac. Alright, so this has been another episode of them barnyard builds. Uh as usual, things took longer because we were missing stuff and we had to go get Jameson and it was the whole thing, but those little spot weld cutter bits are amazing i used one side of one all the way through and it's still got some cutting to do i'll probably be able to finish this and that was so around 50 to 56 somewhere in there spot weld bits with one side of it dipping in that transition for it like that's pretty amazing honestly so guys thanks for watching it's been another episode of barnyard builds peace uh, i heard they checking for me no one checking right, you driving yeah, daddy has to reach the pedals and you can uh, you can sit on my lap, okay, and steer. <laughs> you ready to start it up? Yep. Ooh, fuel pump's priming. Start right up every time, don't it? Yeah, okay. Daddy's gonna back it out, then we'll let you drop it, okay? Yeah. All right, bud. All right, come over here. You have to steer it. You have to be careful. I'm gonna sit in my lap. My have to sit sideways. That's a big steering wheel, ain't it? All right, turn it. our gauges tell us what the RPMs are and everything yeah yeah we'll talk to Aaron we'll see if we can eat pizza all right bud we'll turn around down here okay all right good job all right turn that way yep keep turning keep turning Good job. All right, now we're gonna, Daddy's gonna back it up, okay? So we can turn around and go back.
Is it? Yeah. All right, man, that windshield's dirty. We're gonna have to clean it, ain't we? This way. Yep. Good job, bud. Really good job. High five. Get your keys out. My keys? Yep. Good job. These are my keys. Yeah. Because they borrowed those. Huh? They borrowed these at the store. Yeah. <laughs> well, daddy had to buy them. Yeah, at some point. Yeah. Oh. All right, hey, did you have fun? Yeah. Yeah. Good job, buddy. Told him I'll let him drive.